Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Warrior, episode 28. It's also technically the season finale. Why episode 28 being the season finale? Well, well I'll get into that in a minute. So yes, this episode is actually up on the day Knights of the Fallen Empire is released for early access because, well, again, I'll tell you all about it, really. This episode is kind of just, uh, just, just, a, just a sort of talk before Knights of the Fallen Empire comes out in about oof, just under 24 hours time for me from this moment. The time is about 10 minutes past 10 at night, so it should be out at 4 p.m. BST, so yeah, about 18 hours is when Knights of the Fallen Empire will be released to the world. So, where shall I begin? I apologize, there's been no brand new videos for about a week or so. I have uh, been having PC problems. I've also been ill, which I think I mentioned in my Battlefront videos, but for some reason my voice was very croaky as well, uh, and I don't know, it just wasn't really going well for me. Uh, oh, the ping is 32. Just checking the ping, making sure that's all right. Usually it pops up, pops up to like 40. I don't know why. It's usually the internet, but hey. Um, yes, yeah, so there's that. I've also been having PC problems. Uh, my hard drive decided to kind of just bugger up. I was able to get onto my PC, but the PC wouldn't load properly. Uh, so I couldn't fit because I was trying to I was trying to get Windows 10 reinstalled onto my PC, but it just wouldn't have it. No matter what we did, we tried to use the CD version, it wouldn't work. We tried to use the in PC version where you just go through your settings and reinstall Windows 10 that way, it wouldn't work. And we couldn't, and me and my friend, we couldn't figure out what it was. What? Why? 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 My PC wouldn't reboot itself. And then we found out that my hard drive, my other hard drive, my D hard drive, was corrupted. Which was stop which was strangely stopping the reinstallation of Windows 10. So yes, everything on my computer has now been wiped. I had a lot on my PC. A lot before it got wiped. And now I have nothing. Just the basics, just Swotor. Uh, my video recording software, Shadowplay, my video editing program, just just all my basics now. Uh, and uh, I'm really hoping this recording goes well because I did have an episode 28 and 29 planned, which had me going through Voss doing those datacrons, but unfortunately that recording got botched up because it was on my D drive, and anything on my D drive was corrupted. So that was one thing included. So yes. <sighs> Unfortunately, you will never be able to see that episode because it got botched. But hey, this is the season finale now because, well, I kind of just... well. Uh, again, this episode will just be me talking, just telling you what's going to happen with my channel as well and what's happened, basically. So I've told you what's happened with my PC. Hopefully, Knights of the Fallen Empire, tomorrow my recording will go well. I'm really hoping this is a fresh new... Well, it's not a fresh new PC, but it's a fresh new install on my PC. Everything is clean and nice, so... Things should go well, I hope. I really hope, because I've had nightmares that Knights of the I'm trying to record Knights of the Fallen Empire and it just breaks. Seriously, I've had two nightmares. I am not even joking. Why would I dream of this? <laughs> I know, but hey. Right, so, what's happening now? So like I said, this is the season finale. I don't know why I have my arms in the air while I'm saying this. This is the season finale of the Sith Warrior. But why? 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 Are you just going to stop doing the seasons and episodes? Because my seasons for my characters, for Strander and Kranatoko, would be 100 episodes. Well, I'm changing that up a little bit. Kranatoko will no longer be attached to seasons. Strander still will, because Strander's sort of like the one that lags behind Kranatoko, as you've probably already figured out, because Kranatoko is my main. What I'm going to do... Uh, I am going to do playlists based on expansions. So, Kranatoko will now just be like under Star Wars, The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire, um, under that expansion, and then episode 1, 2, 3, and 4, until like, I don't know, the next expansion, where whatever whatever will be the last episode from that place, it could be like episode 150, but it probably won't be, uh, will be like the, the finale of that playlist and so forth. 
uh, and uh, then I'll just move on and do the same with the next expansion. So imagine if the next expansion was the rise of Darth Malgus or something, then it'd be Star Wars The Old Republic Rise of Darth Malgus, blah 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 blah. That's how I'm going to do it with my playlist right now. Um, why? To try and maximize views. I, I, I worry that when people are trying to find my videos, they can't because, I don't know, the titles are a bit confusing. I mean, you, 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 you search for my videos on YouTube and you, you, you see Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior ep uh, Season 5 or Season 3 or whatever, Episode 86, and you think, oh, do I need to start from the beginning? It, I don't want to confuse people like that. So th I'm going to do I'm going to sort of do it like the way... Bioware are doing it with Star Wars The Old Republic. You can just jump in at level 60 and still get to know the story. Well, I want to do that with my Sith Warrior. I want you to jump in and sort of still get to know the story. Sort of. I don't know how well that will work, but hey, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Um, so, that's that. That's what I'm going to do. Again, yes, you might be saying, oh, you're just trying to get views. Well, yeah. I have a growing channel. I do want to try and get as many views as possible. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, new costume. Might want to see Kranatoka's new costume. I should probably get into better lighting, really. Why am I going that? I have no idea. So I have given Kranatoka a new costume. You can hate it. You can like it all you like. This is his new costume for the time being until I find something nice. Maybe in the cartel market or something nice being put on the GTM which somebody's obtained. Or I get some good gear whilst doing Knights of the Fallen Empire. I'm not going to go... I've not got Thexen's robes. As awesome as Kranatoka looks in them, which I shall show you... Uh, put his gloves on, lower robes, and belt. He looks awesome. Like, really awesome in it. It's that, that suits him perfectly. But it's not going to be that, because I don't want to go through Knights of the Fallen Empire, and then me and Thexen, or not Thexen, me and Arkan meet and be like, Yo! I've got your brother's robes! Or, uh, maybe if I've got different dye on, Yo! We're wearing the same outfit. I wear it better in this color. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I just don't. Because that would be so awkward. I'm not one of those people that likes to break the law. It's like when Bioware announced that you can actually get Nico a car before you're actually able to obtain him in the actual story. I'm not going to do that. That kind of just ruins it for me. That breaks the immersion. You know, there you are playing with Nico a car. Oh, that's so nice. That's very nice. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. And then... Oh. You meet Nico Car, but wait, I've already met Nico Car, he's right next to me. It just. No, I, I don't do things like that. I like to just play things the way they're supposed to. I like to play things in the right order. So maybe, after Knights of the Fallen Empire, if I don't know if you're able to kill Thexen or whatever. Um, Arkan, not off. Oh, I'm getting them to mix up. Thexen is the one that died. Arkan is the one that's still alive. But if you, let's say you were to kill Arkan, maybe one day, I don't know if you can, I'm just theorizing, then maybe, yes, I will wear the robes of Arkan and Thexen. Maybe. But not before I've even met them. So, there we go. There we go. Right, so let's actually get into the new costume. So, are you ready for this? I worked. Not pretty hard on it, it was just sort of thrown together because I already had it in my cargo hold. So without further ado, here is Kranatoko's new costume. There it is. It's very nice, isn't it? I've brought the mask back, yes. Why? I like the mask. I really like the mask. That's all I can really say. It's just... It, it's, it's always suited him. I mean, remember when I used to give him... What is it? It used to be... I just pressed Z and you sat down. When I gave him, uh, not this one, it's the number one. I've still got this outfit, yes, of course. I use it in case I need to do some more pack intros, which I'll go to the, into that in a second as well. I, I, I liked him wearing this when he was wearing this armor. It just suited him perfectly. It's just, I don't know, it just matched him. One day I'll probably take it off, but for now, I'm keeping it on and with, with this armor as well, because again, it just suits him. He's not wearing it because he's got breathing problems or anything. He's just wearing it because it makes him look fierce. And, I don't know, I'm going to say there's something in that that enhances him law-wise. Because I like to come up with law for my characters and so forth. So, it enhances him, basically. He doesn't need to wear it, which is probably why, if there's a bug in a cutscene, why he might take it off. So, that's, that's just what I'm going with in his law. Um, and there we go. Obviously, his lightsabers are red and blue now. 
not just one colour. I like to have red and blue because I like to be like diverse. Although that's more purple than blue. Although it actually does say blue in the um and now it's got like no it's three colours, isn't it? What do I need to go on? I need to go on I need to close you somehow. Why why can't I close you? Uh why why can't I close you? I want to close you. Okay, yes, I've got his outfit up. Can I can I there we go. I don't know if that was a bit of a bug. It just stopped there. Um, yeah, what was it? It was blue, cyan, indigo. So yes, it's kind of three colours, but hey, or is it two colours? I don't really know. You know me. Um, so yeah, I'm going with that for now, but then maybe I'll change it. Uh, if you want to know what, actual, what the actual costume is called, it is the Ravager's Robes. The Feverant Battle Headgear, although you can get this headgear under a different name as well. I can't remember. It's ac actually, I got it in my cargo, so I might take a look in a minute. Scout Trooper Gloves, Enhanced Surveillance Belt, Fortified Defender's Greaves, and Fortified Defender's Boots. I do also have the Oriconium Pummelers MK1 Arm Guards, but you can't see them. So there's really no point in that, because you can't see, you can't really see them with the gloves you're wearing, so, oh well. Uh, and again, yes, red and black, because, I don't know, red and black just suits Kranatoko. It just does. Really? Um, stupid me, I know what I didn't do. I didn't do a audio sync before I started recording this episode. Oh well, let's do one now. And that's how I audio sync. <laughs> basically, I just do a, basically, I put, I literally put my mic close to the mouse, and then I click. And then I just sync it up. I just sync my audio and the game up uh, when I'm doing my editing. So yes, <laughs> behind the scenes of Granatoko. Maybe you'll get like a full behind the scenes one day. The pack opening videos. Obviously, they are changing the way packs work. So the actual pack video might not be until the end of the week. Either that. Or I do it earlier on and you forfeit the intro because I haven't done the intro yet. Because my PC conked up, I wasn't able to record the intro on Saturday. I have the script. I have everything planned out. I just haven't done it because everything messed up and I've lost everything. I've even, I can't even do it previously because I've messed up. I've lost my whole videos of it. So, you know... Oh well, I'll just sort of start again and everything. But everything will be new. Everything's like a refresh for me right now. So it's nice. It's kind of nice. But, I mean, yeah, I could do a pack intro. I could do a pack a video, you know, as soon as possible. As soon as the pack is out. But again, you may forfeit the intro again. Even though I said I'd do like one every two pack videos. Because um, I want to get this <laughs> I want to get this intro out. I've got it, I've got it planned out. I want to do it. Um, is there anything else I need to go through, really? Oh, yeah, I was going to get you the headgear for you. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. But, yeah, they are doing uh, packs differently now. They've not got many as many things in the packs now, but they've got, like, the Hyper Crates are now 30 packs. So, I don't really know how well I'm going to like that. Um, what was the... I'm trying to look for the headgear. I can't remember where it would be located. It wouldn't be located there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. I think it's in my actual cargo hold. Can I get into my... Oh, this is my actual cargo hold. Oh, okay. Where is it then? Um. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Ooh, that's quite nice. Ah. Oh, Kranitoka... Ooh. Yeah, Kranitoka would never look good in that. Never, never, never. I think I've pretty much spoken about everything I need to speak about, to be honest. Oh, it's the Ravager's headgear. Of course it is. It's the Ravager's headgear. You got it. Yeah, they, you get it with the Ravager's as well. Uh, it's probably in here, actually. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. I think it's like the Ravager's headgear, I believe. I'm sure I've got the... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, the... Box for it somewhere. Uh, it actually says Ravagers on the box. Pretty sure. But I can't seem to find it. It's disappeared on me. Uh, oh, there it is. Supplementary body armor. It would be in that, wouldn't it? Do, 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 do. And there it is. Ravagers Rebreather. Uh, I would put this on the GTN right now, but, uh, you know, they're going to be turning off all the GTNs during the uh, patch of 4.0 tomorrow. I mean, I. What I can do 
if someone really wants this on the Red Eclipse server, what I might just do, I'll upload this episode, and then once it goes live, wait like half an hour, and then put it on the GTN. So you need to look out for it on the G. Yeah, I will do that. You need to look out for it on the GTN if you want it, because I'm going to sell it for pretty, quite cheap. So yes, I will sell it for pretty cheap on the GTN, lower than what it, probably what it's being sold for right now. So let's take a look at how much it's being sold for. Uh, da 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 da. Obviously, if you're watching this like a month later, well, it's too late now. It's probably gone. Uh, I'll probably set it for like I don't know, 130k. Yeah. So if you want this, look out for it like half an hour after this episode's uploaded. Um, so there's that, and you can have it. But people usually say to me, "Why don't you tell me what your outfit is called?" Well, I've pretty much told you everything. What my outfit is called. My current outfit for this one, uh, for sorry, this one. If you want to know, is I got that headgear, but it's not really turned on. If it was turned on, it would look like that, which is kind of terrifying. Although, I w what I will say, if I were to wear... I think if I were to actually wear this on this character, I believe... You can get rid of that now. This actually looks quite terrifying. Uh, can I... Actually, no. I was going to say, there was a headgear which made my character look very terrifying because... It, some some pieces of headgear actually show the hood whilst you're wearing the helmet. Others don't. And that one, I think, did. And it was actually quite terrifying. I'm trying to look for it again. Uh, again, I told you this episode was just going to be me talking before Knights of the Fallen Empire. Where is the actual headgear? There it is. And it's this one. This is the one I was more gone about. Not the one which was in my gear. But this one just looks... Look at that. Isn't that terrifying? But it's also got the hood up. Whereas if you were to wear this one, it wouldn't have the hood up. But look at that, that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, which is why I won't wear it for Kranitoko for Knights of Fallen Empire, because that is too terrifying. For, for, even for me, I probably wouldn't even want to wear that. Just, wow. But yes. Um, yeah, the gear on my second outfit, I should probably say, is um, Fortified Defender's Chestplate, uh, Primeval Ardent Blades Gloves, Casual Vandal Belt, Zane Carrick's pants and Organa Loyalist boots and again the Oraconian Pummelers MK1 arm guards but again you cannot see them because they're covered up by the gloves. Um, I think I've covered everything to be honest. I will bring back the Jedi Knight a little while. I've obviously taken a break from the Jedi Knight because Knights of the Fallen Empire is coming out and of course the PC problems but I'll bring that back pretty soon. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of recording of Knights of the Fallen Empire and getting that pretty much sent out throughout all the week. Maybe two episodes a day, if you're very lucky for a little while, because I want to try and get as much content as out uh, out as quickly as possible, because it's going to be like a YouTube race. So many people are going to be doing videos and all that. I know Keevan's going to be doing a bunch of videos, who by the way is Technique Games, if you don't already know. Um, so I'm kind of in a rivalry with him, in a way, but hey, we both kind of expected this, but we don't care because, you know, we're friends, you know, we, we, we support each other, really. I'm always supporting him, he's always supporting me. We want to do a podcast. If you've got this far in the video, if you've not skipped ahead or gotten bored, we want to do a podcast, but we don't really know what to do in the podcast. We want it to be about Star Wars The Old Republic, but then we don't. We want to be able to talk about our personal lives, about what, you know, what we've been playing, and all that, but we want to still try and make it relevant to Star Wars The Old Republic, which makes no sense. So, if you could give us ideas on what we could do for a podcast that still involves Star Wars The Old Republic, and maybe a little bit of what we do, and what we could do in that podcast, please post your some suggestions in the comments, because I'd like to get something up and running, and so would he, because we want to do a podcast, because, I don't know, we, when we did our analysis thing, we enjoyed that, we really enjoyed that, we enjoyed it for so long that we did it for two and a half hours, for crying out loud. <laughs> And we want to do more of that. We really do. We also want to do like a series where um, we jump in from the beginning with two level 60 characters and we play together because they've added, they've done the patch notes and it says you're allowed to play with friends, but I don't really know how that works. Maybe Bioware have just done something odd about that and they're just being all like, uh, you can play with friends, but they have to watch you do your stuff first and then you do your stuff. But it actually says in the patch notes, We've now made it easier to play with friends. Okay, so you're saying that their choices now impact my choices, or what? I, 
I don't know. It's kind of confusing. So we might want to test that out at some point uh, and do a series where we're both like level 60 and we both begin with Knights of the Fallen Empire. Uh, but maybe we'll we'll probably do that in a few weeks' time. Uh, to begin with, we'll start off with our characters and go through Knights of the Fallen Empire. Um, now I think I have talked about everything. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Really? You've seen Kranatoka's new outfit, which I quite like. I really do like, and I hope you like as well. I know it's black and red, but Kranatoka is black and red, as you can see, and it suits him fine. It just suits him. I don't know what it is about it. It just does. So anyway, this is the end of Season 4, and the new playlists will begin with Nights of the Fallen Empire. So... Tomorrow, when I do, or, or, or today, or whenever, you know, this episode will probably be up on the 21st for me, really. Um, I will do the Knights of the Fallen Empire video. There'll be a competition in that as well, because, again, I want to try and get as many views as possible and all that. Uh, and more subscribers, because I'll try and get as many subscribers as possible, because, yeah, YouTube. Uh, and... Um yeah, I'll just do as many Knights of the Fallen Empire videos as possible. Do let me know about the pack thing if you want me to forfeit an intro uh, for the pack video and just do the pack. And then maybe bring back intros at a later date. But again, it would have to be like the next in the next pack video. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I'll see you in Knights of the Fallen Empire. Thank you very much for watching. Farewell.